Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This will be a recap of week three's go live session. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys examples of what you guys did for your grade level, and we'll go from there. So for kindergarten, what you guys did is that we went over the idea of line, and there's different types of lines, and that's gonna be one of the seven elements of art. So we went over straight, zigzag, wavy, and curly, and then we tried to draw a house scene based on types of line. So that's what we did, and then next week we'll go over another type of element of art. So all I'm gonna show you is a very unedited, recorded session of our session from this past Wednesday. Enjoy. And you should be able to see this. So can you guys give me a thumbs up if you guys can see this piece of paper? Give me a thumbs up if you guys can see this piece of paper. All right, good job. So what I wanna talk about with you guys are the different types of line. So these are four different types of line, okay? And line is one of the seven elements of art. So we're just gonna go over this real quick. So the first type of line is called straight. Then we have zigzag. Then we have, oh, I messed, uh, Mr. Mill messed up. <laughs> this one should say uh, wavy, I'm sorry. And then we also have the word curly. All right, raise your hand if you know, if you know what these lines are. Do you guys know what these lines are? Great, I see Ethan knows what they are. I see some people know what they are. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you guys an example of each. So let's see if you guys are smart. And I think you guys are. Is this a straight line? Yes or no? Give me a, a nod or a head shake or a nod up and down. Is that a straight line? Nah, not quite. So I see some thumbs down and I agree with you. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna erase that and fix it. So I'm gonna erase that line. And to make my line super straight, I'm gonna add something like a ruler, or in this case, a container. And I'm gonna try to do my best to try to make this line as straight as possible. Here I go. All right, is that a straight line? Yeah, thanks for the thumbs up, Kaylee. So what I'm gonna do now is move on to the next one. But before I move on to the next one, is there anyone in this call that would like to unmute themselves and say hi and tell me how to draw a zigzag line with their finger? Who wants to draw a zigzag line with their finger and show me how? Kaylee, do you want to unmute yourself and say hi first? Teacher. Kaylee? Hi. Okay, can you show me with your finger how to draw a zigzag? Sure. Sure. Show me how to draw. Show me with your finger. How do I do zigzag with your finger? Can you show me on the on the camera? I can't see your finger. Point your finger a little bit higher so I can see. Oh, good job. I think uh, Kaylee's very correct. So what I'm gonna do is that you can mute yourself again, Kaylee. And then I'm gonna do what Kaylee just did. Was this? So she just showed us how to do zigzag. She went up and down with her finger, just like that. So some people can do big zigzags like this, and they can also be uneven like this. Those are all different types of zigzag. All right, the next type of line is wavy. Who can show me with their finger how to draw a wavy line? Anyone want to volunteer and show me how to do a wavy line? Anyone? Okay, I'm gonna ask Brianna. Can you unmute yourself, Brianna, and tell me and show me with your finger how to do a wavy line? Say hi. Nick. Oh, good job. All right. Thank you, Brianna. So she just showed me how to do a wavy line. There's a couple of ways actually. So let me show you one way. So these are wavy lines, right? I've also seen people go like this before, where it's like super wavy, like this. Or it could be kind of like an ocean. I've seen kids do this harder one like that. That's called wavy too. All right, we have one more line to go. This one is called curly. Do I have any volunteers that they can, they can uh, raise their hand and show me how to do a curly line with their finger? 
I'm going to pick Noah F. You want to show me how to do a curly line of the finger? So make sure you can unmute yourself. And then you can say hi. Say hi. Hi. Hello. You want to show me with your finger how to draw a curly line? Whoa, good job. You guys are so smart. All of you guys are all so smart. So you can mute yourself again. And I'm going to show the class what you just did. I think I have a marker somewhere. Here we go. Let's try, um, let's try green. So what Noah just did with his finger is that he drew a curly line like this. So these are called curly lines. I've seen kids go like this before too. Some kids kind of go like this, kind of go all over the place to make like a bunch of, like a mess like that. That's still curly. Or we can kind of go like this, like small. That's still curly too. There's different ways how to do curly lines. Those are just a few ways. Now, now that you guys know how to do out four different lines, I want to show you guys something that you guys can follow along with. So if you have a piece of paper or a pencil, you can follow along if you'd like. But if you don't have a pencil and a piece of paper, you don't have to um, follow along, okay? If you just want to watch, that's allowed too. All right, so I'm going to try my best to use the four lines that we just learned. We learned straight, wavy, zigzag, and curly. So I'm going to draw a house. I'm going to draw a house, also known as a landscape. And I'm going to draw my straight line on the bottom. That way it's not sitting in the midair like that. So I'm going to ask a volunteer, um, um, what, kind of type of, what kind of type of line do I need to draw a house? Do I draw a house with wavy lines, curly oh, lines, red lines, or straight lines? Anyone tell me, what kind of line do I need for a house? Kaylee? You got a house. A roof and put in the house. Okay, but do you know what kind of lines I need? Uh, do I need curly, wavy, or straight lines? Straight lines. Good job. So I'm going to draw a couple straight lines here. Maybe like this. Maybe like this. These are straight lines. And if I want, I can even make the roof kind of like a zigzag, kind of. Yeah. Let me do a couple more straight lines here. Um, can I, I have another question. What's your question, Kaylee? Um, was you draw the line or is so blurry? Oh, they are. Are they still blurry right now? No, but when you made a straight line, it, uh -huh. it was oh, That happens sometimes. That's okay. All right. So that's my house with a straight line. All right, so next up, I'm going to take my blue marker, hint, hint, and I'm going to draw a wavy line behind the house just like this. But some people might not know what that could be. Can anyone raise their hand and tell me, what could this blue wavy line be? Anyone know? What could this blue wavy line be? Mia, would you like to unmute yourself and say hi so I can see you? Mia? Hi. Where's Mia? Okay, do you want to tell us what this blue line could be? Yes. What is this blue line? It's the sky. The sky? You're close. What else could it be if it's like on the land? Is it the water? Yeah, it's the water. So if I were myself, I could probably add a little more wavy lines here and there. Doesn't matter how many waves I do, just like that. Good job. All right, we have a couple lines so far. I'm gonna take my green marker, and what I'm gonna do is add my last one that we didn't go over yet, and it's curly lines. Remember when I talked about how curly lines can be any shape and size? Well, that's true. So I'm just gonna add some curly lines that's making a shape actually, just like that. And maybe I'll even do a nice, big one right here, just like this. And then just to make sure I know what it looks like, I'm gonna add two lines down the bottom right here. Ta-da! So now, this is a tree, but if I made wave, uh, curly lines right here, 
what are these? What could these be right beside a house? Anyone want to volunteer and tell me what these could be? What could these be? Anyone that has their hand raised? Maybe someone that's not on my screen. Maybe another uh, teacher can help me if, uh, if there's someone I'm not seeing. All right, Vinny, you want to tell us what you see? What, are, what Vinny, what could these be? Bushes. Good job, buddy. So these are bushes. So I think I did all the lines required. Let me just double check. So here we go. All right, so I did straight, zigzag, wavy, and curly. I think I did all of them. But just to make sure I did all of them, let's, let, me add, let me add one more zigzag somewhere. Let me add some zigzags on my roof. Oh, it looks like a scary house now. But you know what? It's OK, because now I added all the lines. So that's it for art today. Um, let me just switch my camera over so I can talk to you guys real quick. So let me just uh, go to my settings and change my camera. So now it's me. All right. So that was Teacher. Teacher. Hold on, buddy. So what we just did was that we just learned about the element of line. That was one of the seven elements of art. Next time, we'll learn about shape and color. So right now, um, who had a question? Samir had a question. So Samir, would you like to unmute yourself real quick and tell me what your question is? Samir, go ahead. Anytime I come to school, can you make me a robot? Uh, I don't know. We don't know. We'll see if, uh, if, if we do come back to school. Okay, so with that said, uh, I am running out of time. So unfortunately, um, we're going to have to end the call and say goodbye. So see you guys, see you guys later. Bye. 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 Right, I'm going to stop recording. Teacher. I'm no longer recording. Teacher. Yes. Um, where do 